some champagne. <laughs> disturb our neighbors on a Wednesday. So, on January 20th, 1956, at 2 p.m. 66. <laughs> Are you correcting your wife? Don't Dear do. technicality. In my Monadies Hospital in Brooklyn, where are now oh, under snow, <laughs> Bill and Claire are saying hello to their second son, Brian Keith. All right. Until Friday. Friday. It's a leap year. <laughs> Dwight D. Eisenhower is president. <laughs> and Elvis Presley is releasing his first pop single, Heartbreak Hotel. Woo! <laughs> Just a few burrows away, Bill Maher is being born. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina Davis is about to pop up pop out <laughs> 200 miles northeast in Massachusetts. George Burns was born exactly six years prior. 60 years prior. <laughs> and Aristotle Onassis exactly 10 years after that. Dr. McCoy, Dr. DeForest Kelly, was born exactly 36 years prior. And our cat's namesake, Buzz Aldrin, was born exactly 10 years after that. Rain Wilson would be born exactly 10 years after you. And YouTube star Emma Marie turns 12 today. <laughs> From this year forward, your birthday will forever be known as David Bowie Day in your hometown of New York City! On your birth date, on the actual date, Buddy Holly is recording Blue Days, Black Nights in Nashville, which is also under snow right now. And on this same day, Edward R. Murrow, on his TV show, Person to Person, departed from his usual policy of interviewing celebrities to chat with Keith Turner, a farmer in Champaign, Illinois, who won first prize at the International Livestock Exposition with his bull, Julius. <laughs> Explains everything. <laughs> the Billboard top charts are Dean Martin, number one. Yay! Memories are made of this. <laughs> number two, Tennessee Ernie Form, 16 times. Right. Number three, Gail Storm with I Hear You Knockin'. Knockin'. And number four, Frank Sinatra with 
Population is 2.8 billion, wow. and the cost of a first class stamp is three cents oh worth every penny. Yeah. Ground coffee is 37 cents a pound, a porterhouse steak is 95 cents a pound, lamb chops are 49 cents a pound, and Jiffy cake mix is 10 cents a package. In 1956, Fidel Castro landed in Cuba. Alabama bus segregation laws were declared illegal by U.S. Supreme Court. <laughs> Pakistan became an Islamic Republic. <clears throat> Prince Rainier of Monaco married Grace Kelly. Oh. The most viewed movie was The Court Jester, starring Danny Kaye, Glynis yeah. John, and Basil Rathbone. Chester with the pestle. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the toast! Wait, I'm only on page two. It's Bruce, true. The film The Ten Commandments premiered, and Peyton Place is a bestseller. The Wizard of Oz has its first airing on TV. The first soap opera, As the World Turns, begins on CBS, and just in time, because that year, black and white portable TV sets first hit the market. Yeah. In sports, go sports. New York Yankees, New York Yankees, New York Yankees defeat the Brooklyn Dodgers 4-3 in the World Series. Who are they supposed to root for? Dodgers. And in science, Felix Wankel developed the rotary engine, rotary internal combustion engine. Yeah, what a Wankel. The DNA molecule is first photographed Woo! by Susan Gerbic. <laughs> Go DNA! No. The first transatlantic telephone cable goes in operation. The neutrino is first observed at Los Alamos, New Mexico. <laughs> I got it. Albert Sabin developed the first oral vaccine against polio. Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 In 1956, the Nobel Prize was given in chemistry for research in chemical reaction kinetics, in physics for the development of the electronic transistor, yes. and in yes. medicine for new techniques in treating heart disease. Brian, your birthstone is garnet. You were born under the sign of Capricorn. Oh, that's Aquarius. Although some would argue Aquarius. <laughs> and others would just argue. Everybody else. Especially according, about belief in astrology. According to the Chinese zodiac, sheep is your animal. And wood is your element. Knock on wood. Your life path number is six. What? It represents justice, nurturing, and responsibility. What is that? Yep. To a T. Brian, it took me several weeks to gather this information. <laughs> Ironically, you most likely already knew most of these things and more. 
and can recall them without the assistance of the internet or crib notes. <laughs> As a small child, you loved to climb into empty boxes. As an adult, you mercilessly Still tease does. your cats with empty boxes. <laughs> you can't pass an animal without petting it. You can't read a crazy claim without debunking it. Woo! Woo! You can't eat a sandwich with sauce on it. <laughs> you can't eat a pizza no with anything but cheese on it. I didn't know that. You love a box of raisins, but you won't eat anything with raisins in it. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Go raisins! Eat right. Eat right. Amen. Eat right. But eat fish. <laughs> In your 20s, you spent years on the road with Shaka Khan, Rush, the Bangles, the Motels, Charlie Sexton, Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols, George Howard, and so many more. And years in the studio at Sound City with Tom Petty, Rick Springfield, Pat Benatar, Woo! Page 3, Glenn Fry, and so many more. You may be crazy when we're watching some rockumentary like Michael Jackson's Thriller and you say, oh, I worked on that album. <laughs> Will I ever know the full extent of your rock and roll history? Then you switched careers on a dime when I called you from a law firm in Century City in 1985. I said, I'm here teaching these lawyers how to use these Computers? Electric computers. Electric computers. What does the world start? Do you think you could fix it? You said, if it's a box with wires coming out of it, I can figure it out. <laughs> Before we knew it, we had a thriving business together, and we were able to buy this lovely home, which we are so grateful to be able to share with our dear friends and wonderful oh, neighbors. Yeah. Hello! Woo! And today you are one of the bravest people I know, reinventing yourself once again. Yeah. You are back in school at UCLA, making excellent grades, studying psychology and psychotherapy. If anyone will be exceptional in this new role, it is you. Your thoughtfulness and empathy for others is unmatched, unless they start talking about chemtrails. <laughs> Well, your rock and roll ears may be shot, but I am so very thankful. <laughs> I am so very thankful that you heard my mother when upon your first meeting her 30 years ago at Casablanca restaurant, she whispered in your still good ear, "Make Karen marry you." <laughs> You have been my husband, my best friend, my companion, my co-worker, my partner, and my inspiration ever since. Aww. Please, everyone, let's raise a glass and toast our dear, dear Brian.
brothers from other mothers, the brothers from another mother, other mothers, brothers are going to come back and do another set. And then we have special guests, special musical guests. We're all going to give little special performances for you and for Brian. Okay. Like, we're so old. We're not going to play this anymore. <laughs> we used to play a lot. What'd you say? <laughs> this First, let me give you a 30 second excuse for a four minute song. <laughs> I, uh, recovering from a broken rib and also. <laughs> I have not sung in four months, <laughs> but here goes. Oh, yeah. You'll be great. You're going to suck, Karen. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Oh, Disney's doing a song later. She's going to suck, too. <laughs>
Fiction, Star Wars, whatever it is, but I need my car to see that. So I ordered one online and got one. She goes, what is that? Is that a phone booth? <laughs> She's never watched. Oh, she watched one episode one time. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's true love. And she'll often walk past as, as like some of the stupidest lines are being said by the stupidest looking aliens. And she'll walk by at that moment. <laughs> you can forgive her, though. I'm crying. <laughs> Has just died in some horrible way. Oh, Rose! Oh, Rose! So, anyway. Uh, exterminate! The exterminate! The library. The library, yeah. 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 Don't like, blink. Yeah. 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 River Song. River Song, also Melody Pond. Um, so, anyway, so, that, so I'm really happy everybody's here and uh, have a great time. And uh, again, I love everybody. Thanks for making this great, great night. I just want to remind everyone that there is a big tank of helium in the living room and all kinds of balloons. And your the game of one of the games of the party tonight is to fill up a balloon with helium. And walk around the room with a mouth with lungs full of helium and introduce yourself to someone you don't know. <laughs> so please take advantage of the helium tank. And um, and then there's a poster by the bar of Neil deGrasse Tyson doing the Spock way and saying, Live long and prosper, Brian, version 6.0. So um, there are magic markers I'll put by that, and everybody, if you want to sign it, say something to Brian on it. It's smaller than it was advertised, so you might have to write on the back as well. <laughs> thank you all. And we want to thank Chef Vanessa for excellent oh, yeah. food and service. And... Oh, yeah. and uh, there'll be a wonderful um, band's going to play another set, and we have wonderful... Surprise sweets. What? What? Surprise sweets on fire. Oh. <laughs> so, what is that? The yeah, what's the exactly what's the fire alert? <laughs> and um, and we have all kinds of wonderful, talented musicians who will follow the band with tribute surprises. Oh. Yeah. On the invitation, I said eight to midnight, but that was just to get you here from time for the surprise band. But we're going as late as you want to go. Baby. Woo! And Mary Catalano is now going to, to uh, give us some great. Mary, you will know her from Curb Your Enthusiasm. And from uh, 
And from Masters of Sex. And let's have a nice warm hand for Mary Catalano. Thank you, Karen and Brian, and all my opening acts. <laughs> all the warm up people. Very hilarious, very wonderful. Of course, that Brian and Karen mentioned the curb your enthusiasm that I was cut from. All right, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> I wasn't in it. Yes, you were. You no. did it, but you weren't in it. I'm getting residuals, which is very important. <laughs> we should get paid. But I asked them to tape it for me because I didn't have the capability, and they were like, I'm all excited. I sent out $200 to all the casting directors in town, $200 worth of postage, $200 worth of postcards. Postcards? They tape it. Yeah, because you wanted to hire you. I should have just sent the $200. I should have kept the same. I should have bought drugs with the $200. <laughs> It was cut. Okay, so that's why you, don't, you have no idea who I am, and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Now on this, yeah, I was on that. You're buying his car. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, all right. And I've been on, I've been on medication as well. <laughs> we hope it's enough. Not enough. You know, I, I, I now we're all. I'm old now, so uh, thank you so much, Brian. You're kind of old, a little old now. Yeah, it's not it's not fun to be old now. I, I uh, well, I know, and, and you know, this is a terrible thing because you know the world is going to shit because uh, you know uh, Trump may run for president. Robin Williams killed himself, and the Kardashians have no suicide plans. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Very ugly Depressed. But uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to say I'm getting older now. I'm tired. I mean, I don't know about getting older. I'm. Actually, I'm 26, so. <laughs> Don't I look like hell? Okay, so anyway. No, I am older now. I'm in show business, and it's against the law to be old in show business. It's illegal. And um, I tried to get a new manager. They told me I had to lose 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible getting old. I guess the men are getting the Viagra. That's fantastic. Viagra, and they, you can have a heart on and a heart attack the same night. That's really exciting. <laughs> but I quit. I quit doing a lot of bad stuff. I got, you know, I got. You know, everything is hurting now. I, I, I'm, I'm so. I'm using my vibrator on my neck now. <laughs> <laughs> and I am still making the same sounds. Okay? <laughs> Okay, I haven't done this in a long time, so I gotta look at my cheeks. <laughs> and I'm so, you know, I, I, there's, I'm so old that there's people I've slept with that are dead. So that's. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did, not sleep I did not do it. I quit doing a lot of bad stuff, you know. And I swear to God, every time I want to leave the house now, I, I keep thinking all that money I wasted on that cocaine 25 years ago. I don't. I, mean, I wish I could use it now. I'm telling you. I'm tired. I was a big. I quit drinking. I quit smoking. I quit drugs. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I quit drinking because I kept doing my own hair. And, uh, <laughs> I'm okay now, but my hair is chemically dependent. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever do this, I mean, I, I, shaving money, I cut, did my own hair, I would put the bleach on, I left it in, it, the hair fell out, right, okay? It was so sure I was asked to pose for the cover of Angry Lesbian Monthly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, sure. not that there's anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but they wanted me for the cover. <laughs> so? so women are weird because we do, we go to, we go to gay men to have our hair done. Which is kind of weird because it's not really in their best interest to make you look good. So, um, <laughs> you look fabulous, but I'll never fuck you. Okay, <laughs> but don't get me wrong about the gay men. We love the, the gay men. Let's call it the gay men. Women love gay men because they're just like straight men, except they have feelings. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, 
straight and I got feelings. I feel like having sex, I feel like having a beer, and I feel like watching the game. I'll look to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So I quit, uh, let's see, what's review? I quit drinking. Oh, I quit smoking pot because I, you know, I wanted to know where I lived. <laughs> I didn't want to be afraid to go there, so. <laughs> People do heroin, they're just terrible, you know. Although I have some bad days sometimes. I wish they make it easier to do heroin. You know, the heroin patch would be kind of nice. <laughs> no, no more messy needles for me. <laughs> it's the patch. <laughs> Oh, I'm smoking that Karen's Good enjoying one. this. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> quit drinking, quit smoking. Oh yeah, give me the light. Get me out of here. No. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not having fun now, almost. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stage so, two. Stage two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, if people are married, that's nice. I always wanted to get married because I'm tired of wearing makeup to bed. <laughs> it's never there in the morning, but no one looks like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> remember Noriega, that's great, because that works only if you remember Noriega. He had very bad skin. He looked like he bobbed for french fries. If you remember, Noriega went to, he went to jail or something. He said he had nothing to do with drugs. But he had sex with people. How much cocaine would you need, ladies, to have sex? Oh, God. <laughs> Although, not that we're not doing drugs anymore. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm trying to date, and it's hard to date, because, you know, because uh, men are trouble. But, no, it's hard to date. You know, I, I, I met a okay. nice guy. He wasn't Mr. Right, but he was better than my last boyfriend, Mr. Right. I might stab you. <laughs> <laughs> I read all the books, the girl books, oh, smart women, foolish choices, oh, women who love too much, you know, there was a book I found for me, Men Who Hate Me, it just saved me. <laughs> 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 so much time. And, uh, yeah, are you okay, honey? Poor honey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, so I lived in New York. Anybody from New York? Yeah. No, New York, fucking New York. Fucking New York. <laughs> no, I, it was funny. When I lived in New York, it was a while ago, but I, I used to, I, there were like, there were, there were guys, you know, um, there weren't very many available guys. There were gay guys, there were married guys, and there were guys from Brooklyn without necks. Have you ever seen <laughs> them? <laughs> They'd come up to you and ask them, hey, 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 want to go out with me? <laughs> Hey, what's the matter? You don't want to go out with me. <laughs> hey, what are you, a lesbian or something? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm literally. <laughs> <laughs> got rid of them because they had to go look up the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have one more little thing I want to do for you little kids, for the kitties. And um, it's a little thing, I have a little... Costume thing. Not big costume thing, but because you're all old and you'll get it, it'll be fun. So, uh, <laughs> oh, Ooh. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so, um, okay, so hold on a second. So, um, I haven't done this in a long time, so it'll be fun. A prop comic, who knew? I, I, I am a prop comic, yeah. So, um, you can even close your eyes or not. But anyway, so, um, uh, when I was growing up, it was like a little bit, there would be like rock concerts. And uh, there would be a woman to get up at the big concert for safety instructions before the band came out. Yeah. This is what we do here. Let's see. Right here. Okay, I'm a prop. Yeah, I'm doing props. Prop costumes. comic. Props and costumes. When are you going to put the weight on the drug? Okay, 
Okay, so just imagine that you're back. Well, you weren't born yet, that's okay. And there was a big rock concert. Okay, <laughs> okay people! <laughs> they asked me to open for the band. <laughs> now, because there are so many beautiful people here today, I've been asked to give you some safety instructions before we start the concert, okay? Okay. okay. There is some bad green blotter acid getting around. <laughs> okay, don't take it because you'll like freak out and you'll miss the concert, okay? Okay. okay. Now, now ladies, okay, if you man. feel as though you're going to give birth during the concert, <laughs> try to make sure you are located as close as possible to the Red Cross van. <laughs> because those people can help you. <laughs> and like we're all giving birth to something beautiful here today. <laughs> <laughs> Peace and love. Okay, now this is just a personal note from me. And by the way, my name is Fern. Hi, Fern. If you do happen to give birth during the concert, try to refrain from naming your child after the band. <laughs> because sometimes the child grows up and that band's not popular anymore. <laughs> okay, I'd like to bring out the first band. <clears throat> but I forgot their name. <laughs> I'm starting to peak now. <laughs> okay, but wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, uh. oh look, you have a friend. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.